What's up gamers and welcome back. I feel like this angle just shows off my five head impeccably. Um, so I've been really into book talk lately and like book YouTubers and stuff like that. Um, I've been reading a lot of fan fiction though so I thought today we could dive into like the fan fiction side of it. Um, these are all going to be Twilight related today. I figured I would make a separate video on other things. Might even make a separate video on more Twilight. Cause I'm trash. Um, don't even look at there. Don't even. <laughs> so, my favorite fan fiction. These are all on fanfiction.net, by the way, and I will have them linked down below. Is watermelon sugar, and I will be giving away pairings, and like try to tell the premise without spoiling it too much. Um, watermelon sugar by Go Oasis seven two six is a Bella x Jacob pairing. Always been team Jacob. Um, this one does not crap on Edward. Some of them paint him in just a horrible light because they don't like him and that's fair. The writers are allowed to do whatever they want. This one is not like that. Um, you like Bella x Jacob and you like Bella. She's human. Jacob's still a werewolf. Or shapeshifter or whatever but Um, that one is finished. It's a finished book. The next one is not finished, and it makes me so sad, because I've been waiting forever for an update. It's How to Get the Girl by Go Oasis 726. This one is a Bella x Paul pairing, and I wasn't sure if I'd be into that. Turns out I'm very, very into it, judging by my favorites that you guys can't see. Um, that one's not even finished, and I've reread it three times. Like, I'm, I love it. It's so good. It's so good. Paul is just, we stand him in this household. Um, now, those two I would give about a PG-13 rating, okay? There's a little smut, nothing too crazy. This next one, this next one is a throuple. It's There's Something About Bella by Hanika, and it's Bella, Paul, and Embry. All human. Um, PG-13 rated R, you know, it, we got some smut, ladies and gents, we found it. I didn't, I didn't go through these before, like I should have. Because I was like, oh, I'll remember. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. <laughs> I've read so many. I don't remember. God. And they're favorited. I was hoping it would like, pop up and say, like, we're just, we're going to have to look. What is this one? God, I've read so many. I don't remember. Okay, so I found five more to tell you guys. And I got distracted reading them. <laughs> so the next one is called Crush, Crush, Crush. Shout out Paramore by Crazy Wild and Free. It says the meeting with the Volturi took a different turn, causing Bella not to return for a year. It's so good. It's so good. It's Bella x Jacob and Paul slash OC. And usually try to stay away from the OC ones because I don't really care for them that much but this one is so good so good because like you don't see you don't it has a twist it's not just you know oh a couple and then no 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 it's it so good it's oh, so good uh the next one is called it had to be her by miss jacob black 99.99 said so set new moon after the slap paul phases in front of bella and things take a turn for the worse or do they anyways paul x bella this one is rated m i actually looked them up the other one was rated m also it's just smut okay guys smut <laughs> Even if I say it's not, it is. <laughs> um, next thing is sweet spice and all things nice. What happens when two pack members imprint on Bella only moments apart? 
This is Jared Bella Paul. Never done a Jared one before, before this one. Oh, this is Becca A-N, B-E-K-A-H-A-N. It's so good. I'm just gonna say that about all of them. These are all rated M. <laughs> you guys, just trust me. If you love Twilight, if you love fan fiction, heck, if you just love werewolves and vampires or shapeshifters, I've been reading so much Harry Potter fan fiction, so now it's just it's just werewolf. It's not even shapeshifter. <laughs> shapeshifter. Fan fiction. Just do it. Like take it out of your mind that it's even Twilight at all. Cause a lot of these, they don't really like he leaves. And maybe he comes back, maybe he doesn't, but, you know, it's just crazy. Uh, next up is Blue Moon by, I don't even know, E-G-R-A-T-I-A. -A. The day Jacob pulled her full moon from the waves, Bella decided that Jake could not only fix cars, but mend her heart as well. It's rated M. <laughs> uh, uh, just. I, Cause like I don't know what to say without spoiling it. I feel like the summary is pretty much like Bella X Jacob. Um. So I didn't. Edward and Alice are still around in this one. They haven't pieced out. Victoria is still around in this one. And yeah, I don't know what to say. It's the only thing bad at this. I just read it. Just take my my suggestions and read it. This next one, all human. Um, it's M. It's straight smut. It's nothing like the rest. This is the only Bella X Edward one. Um, the tags. Because this is fanfiction.net and not AO3, so there's not 10,000 tags. It's just hurt, comfort, and romance. Uh, this book is finished. It's 205,000 words, 71 chapters. It's so good. It's when Bella, an experienced Dom, agrees to meet a wounded sub. She doesn't know how much he'll change her life. Edward's a little subby baby. <laughs> uh, it's so good. And I'm pretty sure this is the one where... I know some of the other ones do it too, but I think she, Attic Writer, puts like a little song summit in each chapter. I think <laughs> I could be wrong. Hey, hey, you shut your face. But, so if you've ever thought of Bella as like a little dominator, this is, this is the book for you, honey. It's so good. I'm so awkward, but <sighs> and if you guys have any Twilight fanfiction or Harry Potter fanfiction or just smut you think I need to read, please, please let me know. <laughs> uh, I do read actual books, surprisingly, so if I might do a straight up just book talk video. I have a couple books, I'm in the middle of a series, but I got distracted by a Huge Harry Potter fanfiction. I'll talk about that one later. But go check this one out. So good. All of them are so good. And I'll have them linked down below. And I'm sorry I didn't tell the blurbs on the other ones. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just include that real quick. We don't know. You know. Okay, so how to get the girl. A uh, no ordinary shifter, Paul finds himself treading unfamiliar territory and falling for his new friend, Bella Swan. How will he convince Bella that he is the one she should be with by interfering with her dating life, of course. Okay, so that's that one. And then there's something about Bella. Bella Swan doesn't date or have boyfriends. She simply doesn't have time for that. A bit of fun every now and then, that's all. Her life is her bookshop, cafe, tea shop, B&B her parents left for her after their untimely deaths. But what happens when two very different but equally <coughs> desirable men want her and won't take no for an answer? Why are we barking? I swear she's just, she just likes to talk, you know? Watermelon sugar! <laughs> so good. I should reread this. 
this is where I won't get anything done. From the very beginning, the story went a bit differently than the saga that you know. Alice's visions of the future are subjective after all. Um, alternate universe, happily ever after, Bella and Jacob POV, NSFW, pack focus, colon friendly, twisted canon, FF, lemons, humor and inks, language and trigger warnings, no child inference. Just a bunch of awards. It's so good. It's so good. And if you love Emmett and Rosalie, this gives so much more of them. And I just... Emmett is such a little baby. I love him. He really is a big old himbo. We stand. And if you guys are a rat, you know what that means. The beginning says extra special hello to the ratsies. We stand. <laughs> And it is finished. I don't know if I said that or not, but this one is finished. I think this is one of my favorite uh, Twilight fanfictions. Hand, hands down. Favorite. This one or How to Get the Girl. Yeah. They're both so good. Anyways, I hope you guys like this. This is something new for my channel. I know I haven't filmed a video in forever, but I wanted to do something. So it got dark. I'm I'm filming this on break, so <laughs> uh let me know what you guys think if there are any other videos you want, any fandoms that you think I should read or fanfics. Let me know. Be more than happy to read. I have nothing else to do besides work. <laughs> um I don't remember thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as you do, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>